<sighs> What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today we are at a local comic co comic show, comic and toy show. It's called Gem City Comic Con. Um, we are at the Dayton Convention Center, Billy and I. This is probably going to be a very Get short trip. Movie. What? Oh. <laughs> I should have though. This place is trash. Yeah, it really is. But this is probably going to be a, a short day for us. Um, we were here last year, and it's really not that big of a show, toy wise. Um, oh, we need a. Dude, what are we doing? There's one maybe or ground? Probably ground? I don't know. No clue. We'll see. Oh my, do you hear that, dude? I don't want this. The parking garage is sketchy. Someone's about to get in here, so this is about to get real awkward. Oh, wait. But yeah, this is where we go. Yeah, I remember this, because that's where we pay for parking. But anyways, like I was saying, um, this is more geared towards like comic, and it has a cool artist alley here. Um, Billy has bought some cool, a lot of cool art here. Yeah, cool that one guy that things. remember that like that Boba Fett thing you bought yes. last year. Yeah, that guy has bought, some cool art. Yeah, the canvas and then the three prints. And then um, Adam Fields is here, so nice we'll stop by and say hi to him. It's a lot here. I forgot about that. <laughs> I was. I told myself I wasn't gonna spend much today because like it was like there's nothing here. Yeah. But like last time, I spent a lot. I spent like hundred some dollars in this place, and I didn't buy one toy. Yeah. I I doubt I'll buy a toy. I mean, Rome is here, but that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go get registered. Um, big shout out to the promoter because they're letting us in on them today. Get a little guest pass. So a big thank you to Gym City for that. Um, but we're gonna go find our way in there and walk around, get the lay of the land, and uh, hopefully get you guys some footage. So we're here at the lovely Roma Collectibles booth. Always the heavy hitter at these types of shows. Got this Templar Knight Builder. Or Legion Builder, I'm sorry. Where's Billy? But uh, I took some pictures of some like kit bashed Templars uh, on my last toy photography video. So this is definitely one that I will want to pick up. Uh, I'm not sure what the price is on those what do we have on this that's the deluxe female well, that's a uh, what's her name G gadriel i think and we have a uh, artemis right there <clears throat> then we have a bunch of the newer figures that just came out from the advent of decay and the all-stars 2.0 wave so I don't think I'm going to buy any of these today. Um, I, have, I have most of these and I have the chance to get most of these at some point. The only ones that I'd be looking for is like, I think I have him. But this guy, he's, uh, he's from the first series. He's from the first series. So there's definitely a lot of older ones that he has. And he just told me that he's getting a lot of older ones in. Um, here in the next couple weeks, so we'll see. We got some boss fight figures as well. The new series, I think, is right here. And here's one, the Elf Ranger, Elven Ranger. We have Naga, which is a serpent druid. This guy's pretty cool. I like the, the hand tattoos. We have this demon profiteers. Those are two different sets of wings. And then we have the orc mage. Oh, that's cool. These are awesome. What's this guy? Is this a... Oh, this is the prototype of their figure. Oh, F. Is this your prototype? Right? Wow. So this is the first one. I posted this on the Facebook group. Wow, this looks amazing. In person. Damn, definitely have to get one of those. Hold on, this is right there. There we go. So yeah, here we go with those. I don't think any of these other Boss fights are new. Some Masters of the Universe stuff. Some Mezco's over there. Let's see. Some more Masters. Yeah, this is it. Um, I want to go talk with Aaron about July, and then uh, I'll get back with you guys. 
we go with another random booth. Some figures, like $20 for this Kylo. 15 for Zuvio. 20 for the Guavian. The Mafex Harley. And we have the RIP TRU exclusive three pack. Got the Hydra. These are cool. I like those. Just got, got a little Ant Man. Got Stormbreaker. A Parker would actually like this, most likely. Some loose three and three quarter Star Wars. We got anyone good in here that I can't live without. Some Ahsoka is. Hmm. I think I have most of everything that I would want. It's a cool figure. The droid 3 pack. Yeah, but this is pretty much the convention not like I said it's definitely more comic and art based um, not a whole lot of toys but I'll try to find some sort of toys for you guys but overall I'm probably just gonna be looking at art because all that over there is artist alley but I need to go find Billy because he's uh actually I have no idea where he's at we're at game runners uh, booth and he is apparently a pretty big comic guy dealer person so uh billy and i are going to take a look at some of these covers got a lot of exclusive covers i like these um the secret wars the the figure the action figure variants those are very cool i enjoy those that black cat looks cool what's this one? Oh my god dude <laughs> jesus did that just happen yep that just happened i just did something bad oh boy why did i do that there's that, okay. A Dark Phoenix, I think. That Phoenix. Mortal Hulk. Let's see what else we got. What you what do you see down there, dude? No, I want to get that Secret Wars cover. The Black Spidey? The actual you know, I want it for the cover. I want to get At um I think it was at Lexington Comic Con, the guy who created the Black Suit Spider Man was there. Really? Yeah. Damn, like the dude. concept of the character. I forget. Who he was, like what his name and every all that was, but I remember they were yelling obnoxiously loud. The guy who created Black Suit Spider Man, and he was signing, and he had like uh, special covers for just that show. Is insane. Yeah, Mortal Hulk number two, that has gone uh, up in price a lot. There's uh, Amazing Spider Man, the uh, Gwen, and I like that cover. Um, let's see what else. Billy's thinking about. Think about that. Oh, I like that wedding one. I'm trying I, to get a nice little wall of uh, framed up covers just to go with my like Stanley autograph and stuff. Yeah. Weird flex, Billy, but okay. I mean, that's the only. That's <laughs> I know. The biggest reason. Well, hell yeah, dude! You gotta. You I gotta. Want, I want to surround up. stuff with that, man. I prefer to get just all autographed comics. I already have a couple, but yeah. Definitely. You could always get try to get like cool covers and try to get like the artist or something like I've at conventions. Loved this cover. This is back in the day when I had like a razor. I used to have that as my background <laughs> back in like high school. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of very very cool covers here. I love this. I think I am gonna yeah. buy one of those. Mortal Hawk's cool. So yeah. All right. Well, this is enough comics. We'll uh, check in later with something else. So we are back at Roma's. I want to show you some some more stuff. He has some Black Series, the Entertainment Earth clone set. Very cool set. That Five of First and the Shock Trooper are my favorites. Um, well, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. All of them are pretty cool. Some Black Series Archive Series. Some of the NECA SDCC sets. The Turtles. Some Mezcos up there. We have the Game of Thrones figures. Some more Black Series. Nice. By the way, what is this? Status case? Is that what that is? Status case? Um, they're hard in here. 
and you got like it slides up. I can't do that. Um, but the homie hooked me up with two of these, so I got to show this off to you guys. Um, and I'm going to actually try to put uh, a couple of my three and three quarter figures in these because they do sit pretty well, and it has a, a hang tag on it, which is pretty cool. So ironic that that's sitting there. And we got some DC Universe action. A bunch right here. Oh, there's a custom Death Star droid. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for Roma's booth. So before I leave the show, I will show off the Fing Fang Foom. Well, that's not Fing Fang Foom set. This is, uh... You don't ever see these in box at all. Ever. That's insane. Got King Hulk. We got Absorbing Man, Doctor Doom, Thor, uh, Emma Frost. Got some Builder figures, Thanos, Abomination. Uh oh, what did I just do? What the heck did I just do? There we go. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because this is definitely something. I think la one of the last videos you guys asked about these. So there we go. There's the Fing Fang Foom set. So I think I'm pretty much done with this show. Um, I got a very cool comic book. Um, it's kind of like an independent creator, I guess you could say. Um, it's published or distributed through Image. I don't know really how the comic lingo works, um, but I definitely want to show you guys that. It's like zombie, like very, very gruesome. So it looks cool. Um, so I definitely want to show you guys that. And then um, if you guys are interested on buying those, then I will link you. But I'm looking for Billy once again. I don't know where this guy is. At. He said he was going somewhere. But um, yeah, so I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to go home, figure out something. What's up? Hold on. Some time has passed. I came home and hung out with the family a little bit. Um, yeah, sorry for this video. I don't think this was a very content-filled video. Um, and I apologize for that. Today was a drag for me because last night, which would be Saturday night, uh, Karina, the kids, and I um, went and hang out with Kenny, his wife, and his kids, their kids. Um, for the weekend, we ended up spending the night down there, so this day was very rushed for me. But I do know earlier I mentioned something about a comic book, and I wanted to show this off to you guys. It's called 68. I believe the story is by Mark Kidwell. I believe that's who the actual story is. Yeah, I, th I believe so. But this is some of the art through here. This is the first uh, trade. He, I think there's six total. Um, and then I got this one. It's called Jungle Gym. Um, this is a four issue series, I believe. Um, it's very, very cool. It, I believe it's back in the 60s in Vietnam more um, about some zombies some crazy stuff happens so I'm excited to read that and uh, I'm gonna have him actually do a commission cover for me as well uh, also over the weekend picked up some more freaking cards um, I bought eight of these I and I already unboxed them let's just pull one out let me show you so here's okay this is actually a good one to show you guys got a Hera five out of six Vanessa Marshall autograph um, yeah, I bought eight of these yesterday, so that was dumb, but it was fun. So, pretty much, that's going to do it for the video. Once again, I want to give a big shout out to the people over at Gym City Comic Con for allowing me, um, to get on the list. That way I can get in there and record some footage. Another big shout out to Roma Collectibles. Um, they, I'm missing my Brontus Cyclops stroll. They switched it out for me because the, the joint was really weird when I got it down in Lexington, um, in its elbow. So, yeah got that fixed out also um, July 20th I think Saturday July 20th let me check that real quick um, I might throw it up on the screen if I have it but July yeah Saturday July 20th um, Billy and I are going to have a panel and we're gonna have a table at that toy show I'll throw the info up on the screen that way if you guys are in the area um, during summer you can come check it out hang out with us and kind of do like a Q&A um, and just chill pretty much and we'll have a table set up so we can hang out and talk to you guys take pictures do whatever you want um, and then we'll be good to go with that I'm very excited for that though so big thank you to Aaron over at Roma for allowing us uh, to have that opportunity 
But anyways, I think that is going to do it for the video. I should have a card unboxing of the Phantom Menace um, anniversary sets that were Celebration exclusive. I got three of them and I believe that should be the next video. Also, I uploaded a video Sunday of a couple, opening a couple packs of the autograph box cards. Um, so please go show that some love. But anyways, my camera battery is flashing. I love you so much. Thank you very much for the support. I will see you in the next video and as always, may the figs be with you.